Hi, welcome to Word Time with Miss Markey. I'm Miss Markey and I'm so glad you're here. Let's see what our letter sound is for today. It is the letter O. So another vowel sound and letter and it makes those two sounds so it can make its name O. Looks like the picture there is the person opening a box and maybe going oh when they see what's inside. And then the other sound that it can make is more of an ah, uh, open your mouth wider, um, just like that person in the picture. We can see oh, our mouth kind of even looks like the letter O, and ah uh, is open even wider. The book I brought today is called O is for Octopus. The illustrations are by, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but it looks like um, Keha Kahifes. O is for octopus. O is for octopuses. There are lots of different types of octopuses. This page shows lots of different types. There's greater blue ringed octopus, a common octopus, Atlantic white spotted octopus, just like it sounds, it has white spots all over it. Curled octopus, has curly legs. A flapjack octopus, kind of looks like it's a flapjack or a pancake at the bottom. Doesn't have the long legs like these other octopuses do. And this one's called a coconut octopus. O is for ocean. All octopuses live in the ocean. You can see two swimming in the ocean right there. And O is for orange. This octopus is orange, but it can change to white. Did you know that? Did you know that octopuses can change color? That's pretty cool. And O is for oozing ink. When scared, octopuses squirt out a cloud of ink. So if you want to learn more about octopuses or other animals that live in the ocean, you can find books about that at your local library. This is another book called Octopus Opposites. And I don't have this book, but I did bring a special guest today who is an octopus to help talk about some opposites with us. So here's our box. And if we open up the box, we have our octopus in the box right now, and we can take it out. There's our octopus. Our octopus is out of the box now. And now the octopus is on the table. He could go down here and jump off the table, but we'll keep him on the table. This octopus is not a new octopus. He's kind of an older stuffed animal octopus. You can see he's not really a bright orange anymore. So he's not new, he's old. Those are opposites. If we were looking at a book with our octopus, we would open it up, open it up and look at the book. And then when we're all done, we close the book. Open and close are opposites. I see here our octopus has some long legs and some short legs. Let's count how many legs the octopus has. We'll start here with this short one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octopuses have eight legs. Some more opposites are on. Our octopus can be on the box. We would also say that he's on top of the box. Or he could go under, under the box. 
could go and maybe jump or swim over the box. Some other words that we can use to talk about that are above the box and below the box. The octopus is below the box. We can also make our octopus go up. We can say he's up high. We can move him down and say he's down low. Those are opposites. Our octopus here is pretty soft. He's a soft stuffed animal octopus. So he's soft. The table that he's on is hard. So soft and hard. Can you think of any opposites? Opposites are two very different words that have different meanings. They can be related. Um, you can look around your house or neighborhood and see what opposites you can find. It's our friend Phoneme the Feline. Hi Phoneme. Phoneme, today we talked about opposites. Do you know what an opposite is? Oh, opposites are two words that mean different things. Um, maybe you could try doing something opposites of each other. Yeah, let's tell Phoneme. Maybe he could jump up and down really fast. Can you do that, Phoneme? Okay, let's go fast. Okay, the opposite of fast is slow. Can you go slow now? Oh, good job. Maybe you can try jumping along with phoneme. Can you go really fast? Up and down? And then go slow. Oh, that's so much fun. Thanks for jumping along, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to follow Talking is Teaching in Springfield, Vermont on Facebook for more activities and ideas that you can do at home. And we'll see you all here next time. Bye.